So you probably know that YouTube Analytics is a very powerful tool to learn about your channel. But did you know that you can export the data held within YouTube Analytics to a spreadsheet application of your choice, namely for most people Microsoft Excel, in order to, to analyze the data at an even deeper level? So let's get started. First of all, I'm in my video manager here. I'm just going to click on this likes area to view analytics for video. This is my last Excel tutorial that I did. Perfect. So we have all the data here, but I want to get this into Excel so I can analyze it there. So what you do is you go up to the top here, you click export report. Now if Google Sheets is your spreadsheet application of choice, you can click Google Sheets here. But I'm going to use Microsoft Excel today, so we're going to click Microsoft Excel.xls. And you'll also want to click the Microsoft Excel if you like to use um, LibreOffice Calc. Okay. So we're going to click that. I'm going to save the file. And then we'll just open it up here. All right, this one. So Excel opens up. I'm going to enable editing. And so here we are. Here is all our data. Now before you go away, let me just show you what we have here. So we have every day and then for each date there are multiple entries. Now why are there multiple entries for each date? Well because there's an entry for every country from which someone watched the video. So you can see here that on April 29th, 2017, there was someone from Bangladesh who watched the video. One person and they viewed the video for six minutes. Okay, we also had two people coming from Colombia together they viewed the video for a combined seven minutes okay so this isn't probably the best format to analyze our video data from it's probably more confusing than anything you can see the Excel file this is just a month of data and it comes to a total of 620 lines so how can we analyze this better well I like to use a pivot table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the data, okay? So we go all the way over here to O, where we have subscribers lost, and we're going to go all the way down to 620, okay? And then you go insert pivot table. There you go, okay? So let's say I want to compare. We can do date. And on that date, I want to compare with views and likes and comments. So I want to know which date. For every date, I want to know how many views there were, how many likes, and how many comments. Now, it added months in here for us. I don't want months. So I'm going to unclick months. Now, I can see for every date, I can directly compare on that date the number of views that the video received the number of likes and the number of comments okay so I could see here on the 18th of May that was the only date that there was a comment I could see that I had 66 views that day and no likes okay that's about it hope you guys enjoy playing around just play around with it and you should be able to do some pretty in-depth analysis here in Excel it's a great analytical tool and I hope you see why this is useful Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.